Okay, this video is going to teach you how to do a DR self-check. DR stands for diastasis recti, and I'm going to give you brief education on it so you understand what it is. It happens to every single pregnant woman in the third trimester. Now, the degree to which you experience it postpartum is going to just depend on the individual, but I do want to start off by saying it's normal, you didn't do anything wrong, but the goal is to help heal it and make sure that we don't make it worse with exercise. So, DR stands for diastasis recti, and essentially um, that is the separation that is going to occur between the two sides, left and right sides of your abdominal wall, of your rectus abdominis, which is the outermost superficial layer of your core. Um, as belly expands and adjusts and makes room for baby, it is natural for those muscles to separate because the belly is growing. So the muscles hence um, get wider and further apart. So um, by definition, DR is more two or more finger widths of separation in between um, the left and right medial sides of your rectus, okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to follow along and perform this check for yourself. It's going to be incredibly helpful so that way you can know what your starting point is and then you can assess yourself as you progress through the core recovery plan um, and can see how it is healing. I will say that I do recommend um, working with a pelvic floor or just like a postpartum uh, specialist in terms of physical therapy specifically if you are experiencing more than a four finger width separation. But um, what we're going to do is you're going to join me on your back. Um, the safest way to do this is to come on your side like you see me do here and then rotate onto your back, okay? Because especially if you are experiencing some degree of DR, if you're just coming down onto your back like this, technically you're performing a crunch and while you do have the separation DR, um, crunches are actually gonna make it worse. So we wanna do everything we can to protect our bodies. So come onto your side and then from here, you can roll onto your back. So we're going to do two different checks. You're gonna do the same thing essentially in terms of checking for it, but two different positions because um, we're going to check the amount of separation that you might be having while you are at rest and then also while these muscles are a little bit contracted, okay? So what you can do is you're going to place one hand behind your head, okay? Just to hold it nice and soft, give it some support. You're gonna come into a bent knee position like you see me doing here. You're gonna take two fingers, okay, because remember, Two fingers or more of separation between the two parts of your abdominal wall means that you have DR. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, bring them together and make have them face you. And you're going to start like right around your sternum, okay? You should be able to find um, the middle part of your abdominals. We're feeling that linea alba tissue which runs down the middle of our stomachs, okay? And you're just going to feel... Press relative, not hard, so we obviously don't want to cause pain, but you're just going to press so that way you can feel the tissue, okay? And the first one, you're just going to feel, move those fingers around to see how much separation there actually is between the two sides, okay? I also want you to be feeling for um, if the tissue in the middle feels springy and taut, and tight or if it feels pretty squishy, okay? Um, and it might be a little bit challenging to feel it in this resting position, which is fine. That's why we also perform it um, with a little bit of a head lift. So I want you to just move those fingers down the middle part of your stomach and you're gonna just feel all the way down until about two inches below your belly button, okay? And it is totally normal if you feel um, like a difference in um, like how tight it is at different parts in um, the linea alba tissue as you move down your belly, okay? So if it's a little bit hard, again, to define how much separation or what the tissue feels like, that's fine because now we're going to um, feel what it feels like with a little bit of a head lift. So what you're going to do is you're going to perform a nice big inhale and on the exhale, 
I want you to lift your head just about one inch off the ground, okay? So you're not coming up here because the higher up you come, you're actually bringing those two sides of your rectus abdominis muscle closer together. So if you come up too high, you could get um, an error in terms of your assessment and I could tell you that you don't have much of a separation when in fact you actually might. So you're gonna take a nice big inhale. And then on the exhale, you're going to lift your head, okay, just one inch off the ground, and as you're exhaling, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to move those fingers, two fingers together, down the midline of your linea alba tissue, and feel how much of a separation, how much distance you can feel. You should really be able to feel the ridges of your rectus abdominis here, especially with this head lift. Okay, so I want you to first just kind of assess how much separation is happening between the two sides. Obviously, you cannot perform your exhale for the amount of time I've been talking. So if at any point you run out of breath and you still have not finished your assessment, just come back down, relax, and then take another inhale. And then on the next exhale, come back up and continue with the assessment, okay? So after you've gotten a pretty good gauge of how much separation you've got between the left and the right side of your rectus, you're then going to, with the same two fingers, um, feel for how and what the tension feels like, okay? So again, take note of whether it feels nice and springy and taut and tight, or if it feels like you can get down pretty deep and it is pretty squishy, okay? So once you've performed that, you have a pretty good assessment. You can roll back onto your side, okay? And then from here, you're gonna come back to a seated position. So a couple of things to think about. Um, like I said, two finger width or more is going to indicate that there is some degree of separation, but what actually is an even better indicator of the severity of it is how deep um, and how squishy that tissue is. Okay, so um, also if you're kind of struggling to differentiate, like I don't know if it's tight and springy or I, if it's squishy, um, the skin actually right here on your neck, if you kind of like stretch your chin and press on it, you're going to feel that it has a relatively nice like give back and spring to it. So this is like the top and the tight texture that we're looking for. And then if you come and you press on your cheek, it's a much different feel. This is what it's going to feel like if it's pretty deep and feels like squishy and like you can really get your fingers in there. So the squishier and deeper you can actually get your fingers in there is actually going to be um, more of a severe case of DR as opposed to um, like a more finger width separation, but it's springy, okay? So not anything to stress about. Again, you didn't do anything wrong. It's completely normal. Every single person who goes through pregnancy is going to experience it to a degree. Um, just the severity postpartum is going to depend on the individual. So um, just make a little note. You can write it down. You can record it in the app um, to write down how many finger width separation you have and what the linea alba tissue feels like. And then at the end of the core recovery plan, if that's the plan that you are doing, you can go ahead and assess again and there should be um, an improvement there between the two sides of your abdominals.